Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. So Deontay Wilder embarrasses himself yet again by filming another twerking video and putting it online. Where do we even start with this one? The self-proclaimed baddest man on the planet. The guy his fanboys say is a king, yet he's out here twerking like a two-bit whore. You know, that sort of behaviour is extremely suspect. It's extremely suspect. It's not the first time he's done it, as well as other comments such as him wanting to experience childbirth and carrying a baby. This guy's a fruitcake, yet the LDBC proclaim this guy to be a king, a leader, and essentially a role model somebody they look up to. Who on earth, apart from Elton John and George Michael, would look up to someone like Deontay Wilder? Real talk. I mean, really, these guys, they need to address this. They didn't address the pregnancy comments. They never addressed his first twerking incident. Are they going to address this? Maybe it's time the, uh, the general, aka... 78 IQ, aka morbidly obese, aka jab of a heart, aka CeeLo Green, comes out and admits that Deontay Wilder isn't the guy he thought he was. Because his followers will listen to anything 78 Sports says, right? So I think he needs to be honest now. He needs to come out and say, listen, I got this one wrong. Deontay wasn't the guy I thought he was. That's all. Essentially, if I was in 78 shoes, or if I was one of these LDBC goons, I would be pushing numerous other fighters before I ever pushed Deontay Wilder. I'm talking about guys like Errol Spence Jr., for example. Terence Crawford. Maybe you could look at younger fighters like Shakur Stevenson or Devin Haney. There were numerous other fighters these guys could have pushed, but for whatever reason, they were fixated on Deontay Wilder, a guy who is clearly a fruitcake, a guy who is clearly suspect, as far as I'm concerned. I've never twerked before. I could not imagine doing such a thing. I wasn't raised in that way, right? But Deontay Wilder feels it's okay to act like that. And his fanboys don't even cover this, they don't discuss it or anything like that. What's all that about? Maybe this guy represents them more than we think. Maybe that's the way they feel. If that's the way it is, then listen, you do your thing. But you're looking kind of soft. You're looking kind of soft. By not speaking on his behaviour, you guys are essentially co-signing it. At the end of the day, you can't use ignorance as an excuse. You're the biggest Deontay Wilder fanboys on here, so you know everything he does. From what sock he puts on first, to what he has for breakfast in the morning. You guys know about this story. Will you cover it? 78 Sports TV, BFTB, Blue Blood TV, Fanon, whatever your name is. Are you guys going to cover this story? We shall see, but I know you guys know it exists. I know you guys are aware of this video, so I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued to see how you guys um, how you guys cover this one. But I know what route you're going to go down. You're going to use the silence is golden approach. You're not going to talk about this story at all. You're going to pretend like it doesn't exist. Because essentially, a lot of you guys have built your channels around Deontay Wilder. And essentially, it's too late to back out now. If you start criticising Deontay Wilder for his, quite frankly, disgusting behaviour then you're going to look like idiots for co-signing this guy for the last three to four years. You guys are going to look like absolute morons. So, I'm sure you guys are going to go down the silence is golden route, but, you know, once again, it just goes to show how, how soft you guys are. You're willing to accept that sort of behaviour for a few super chats and a few extra dollars. Absolutely pathetic. Pathetic. That's your champion? That's your king? That's the word you like to use, right? King. 
So you're subservient to a guy who twerks like a little whore. Embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. How were you guys raised? I mean... (laughs) I've always found it curious how guys, you know, take you people so seriously. You know, trying to debunk everything that you guys say. These people, man... I'm not sure what's wrong with these people, the anti-LDBC channels, the guys who are trying to pick apart what they say. Listen, the LDBC guys should be here as comedic relief for us people who are on the YTBC, essentially. Don't don't try and pick apart what they say. Just just sit back and laugh at their delusions, their um, degenerate nature. It, it's kind of hilarious. It really is hilarious. These guys are scrambling, and it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing this covered. I doubt it will be, but here's hoping, here's hoping. But, you know, it's not surprising that a reject like Deontay Wilder is the hero to some of these people. I mean, the LDBC is essentially like a bad episode of the village people. You've got the Fat Pimp 78 Sports. You've got the Vertically Challenged Emotional Dwarf in BFTB. You've got the Struggling Lawyer in, in Fanon. You've got the midget suffering a midlife crisis in barbershop conversations. I mean, you couldn't make this stuff up. (laughs) Honestly, you couldn't make it up. (laughs) Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Deontay Wilder, you continue to embarrass yourself and you continue to make your fan base. I'm not one, I don't want to say fan base actually, because there are are Deontay Wilder fans out there who are cool, but, but you make your fanboys look worse by the day for co-signing you, honestly. Honestly. I mean, the Deontay Wilder saga is the story, is the gift that keeps on giving. Absolutely hilarious. It really is hilarious, but um, it is what it is, man. What can I say? What can I say? What can I say? It's mind-boggling, it really is. It really is mind-boggling. But um, yeah, I, I like I said, I hope that um, we see some sort of response from the uh, fanboys. I really hope we do. I want to see how they try and spin it. Or whether they actually finally discard Deontay Wilder. For his embarrassing degenerate behaviour. Because like I said. It's it's more than just one time now. These guys are looking kind of soft. You know. But uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens man. We'll see what happens. As, as you guys I'm sure can tell. I'm a little bit medicated right now you know. Had a little uh, little smoke. So I'm I'm kind of good right now, but um, credit to Deontay Wilder. You've made me laugh tonight. You you've made me laugh. So um, there's that, there's that. But um, yeah, share your thoughts below. All of that good stuff. Peace.